is going on everyone welcome happy what are we on tuesday happy tuesday everyone it is 8 55 we have a game time gonna be of 9 
P-M-E-S-T here. Hope everybody's having a great Tuesday. I uh, hope your start of your Tuesday was actually really good. We're going to end your Tuesday on a rocking bang here. We have coming up Forge Fire taking on SKS Roughnecks. These are Battle of the Points that are going to be going down. This is a VRPL week number eight coming to an end here. We've got two final matches going to be ending off this week. We have me casting channel one here. Um, Forge Fire taking on SKS Roughnecks. And over on channel two, we have Nessa casting Want Crew versus UMAD. Those guys are going to be battling out for some serious points there. UMAD holding up right now first place with 131 points, I believe it is. So there is going to be some fights there. If UMAD takes this one and runs with it, then it is going to be, I think, game over. It's going to be really tough to be catching UMAD. But we have a great game here. Forge Fire, Roughnecks, going to be going at it in about four minutes. We're just waiting for confirmation that those lobbies are going to go and start. Ads are always going to be popping up here. I believe they're going to be right at the beginning, and then they will skip right by it. So we are just waiting for Chippy Chip. I'm just going to check out here. Keep an eye out that uh, Chippy Chip, who's our host, uh, he will be letting us know. We've got a full menu. He want waffles. There we go. Let's get some waffles in the house here. Uh, does that mean Bob Waffle will be gracing our presence? Let's see if he will be gracing him. That ad should be ending in about eight seconds. So we are just waiting for these lobbies to open up. I do see that. Uh, they have, oh, there we go. That lobby has closed. So that means Chippy Chip will be recreating the new lobby. Uh, so I did see that he had a lobby. Tack had a lobby. So you know what that means. They were getting their practice in here. They're ready to just tear each other apart. So the lobbies both got crashed. So that means that, uh, nope, let's see. Chippy Chip uh, still has his practice lobby up. Uh, so we are just waiting for that practice lobby to be restarted uh, and letting me know when that is going to open up. Oh my lord, there is so many lobbies here on the private side. Alrighty, we got a ton of private lobbies. But who is ready for next week to start up here? We have week 9 coming up next week where we have the new, la the new maps have been dropped. So we will be going for week 9. We have Lumber. And we have Ministry starting off next week. Then we go into week 10. We're going back to Dust Town and Embassy. And then over to week 11. In week 11, we're going to be going to everyone's favorite map now. Afghan and Wildlands. So we have a small map and a big map. Then a medium and a medium going up against it. And then we got small and large to finish off on week 11. I believe there is 12 weeks uh, don't quote me on that. It's either 11 weeks or 12 weeks there. Uh, so, yeah. So, we'll have those coming up next week. And, of course, these last matches, they put their scores in. And tomorrow, when you wake up, you should be seeing the new pairings, the new scoreboards starting to fill up there. So, we'll see where everybody is going to be standing at it. But we are going to be finishing this week off in beautiful downtown. And, of course, everybody's killer map. We're going over to Arctic. So that's going to be a fun one for this uh, for this evening here. Uh, thanks, everybody, for jumping in and joining me on this one. If you got those split screens going and you're watching Nessa on Channel 2 and you're watching me over here on Channel 1, you know, grab it and have a good time with it. Remember, emotes limit is 3. You go to 4 emotes and there should be a notification that you're spamming way too many emotes there. Uh, I will update them over the weekend, maybe get a couple extra slots in there to let you guys since everybody loves rocking those emotes you know we'll open it up and maybe get you four or five maybe six emotes but then you know someone will push it and uh, we'll be back at the cycle all over again let's throw up some predictions here everybody want to do some predictions all right let's do some predictions let's get the gambling started here already let's get this going who's going to take round one will it be uh, let's see here. Will it be Fire or will it be Roughnecks? Get your predictions in. We're going to set this for five minutes. 
That's what we're going to go for. It's going to be five minutes. There we go. We are starting that prediction off. Get the gambling going. Let's get this started. Get those channel points in. There's been some upsets in these predictions uh, that we've had so far. So you got to get those in and ready. Just wait to see if Chippy Chip uh, is going to let me know. It is 9 one so That means game time should be coming up. Um, you know, it happens. We saw it yesterday, even in our match. Well, Hulk was casting for us. Thank you so much, Hulk, making his debut here at v VRPL. He did a wicked job. Amazing job, Hulk. You did a great one there. He's actually playing over on Channel 2. He's playing on the Wong Crew side there. Uh, so he did a great job, and our, our map kind of took a little long as we had to wait for members uh, to be joining up. So, you know, it is always a tough one. You have to wait for everybody there. But I did see lobbies up and running uh, earlier, so everybody should be getting in here. What is going on? Marshall is here. Rome is here. There we go. Rome is in the house. I think Marshall will probably pop in. Maybe watch it. one is watching Channel 2, the other one watching Channel 1 here. Everybody watching all the channels going on. Get that prediction in. I can see those numbers starting to roll. It's looking like I'm not really sure which side that number is. I uh, can't remember which side I put who on there. But I think you guys are calling a prediction there for SKS Roughnecks. I think that's what you guys are calling there. So we're just waiting for the lobby to start. No messages yet from TAC or Chippy Chip. Uh, none of them are actually on a lot. Oh, Chippy Chip is online. So I am actually just going to pop over here and just let them know we are live. And I think he's going to be my point of contact. There we go. Alrighty. And we are back in over here. Getting ready for the end of this week. Week 8 coming to an end here. Last two matches going right to the wire at the 9 o'clock game time here. They are going right to the wire. This is going to be a great matchup. These are actually two good teams going up against each other. They have a lot of good players on either side. Um, you know, you've got Tac, Tactical Dab on one side. You've got Rabbit, Jiu-Jitsu Rabbit on the other side, right? We have great players going up against each other. But it's going to be interesting to see who is going to be in the rounds here. Are they going to be changing up when it gets into Arctic? You know, are you going to switch out those players? Um, we did see, you know, yesterday there was a lot of DCs happening. We had some crazy issues in our match yesterday. One of our players just kept getting kicked out right one after another. They, they were in, they got kicked out. In, they got kicked out. Rome even had some uh, some issues there. His gun wasn't even showing up when we were in downtown. And we play VRPL all the time. So, you know, things will happen in contractors. Alrighty, I see a lobby. Let me just pop in here and see if they are up and running here. All right, we have a lobby. Let's see what is going on in here. We're sneaking in. Okay, we have a lobby up. Let's get into that action. All righty, we are starting off in Arctic right now. We got the teams on the right side. There's Anderson, Defender, Joe Magic, Rusty, and Malik. Over on Forge, we have... There we go. They're getting their run in. We got Jugs, we got Taco Burrito, Nader, Chippy Chip, and Bob Waffle. Everybody was calling for Bob Waffle. We are going over to the satellite. Now, point number one is going to start off at this beautiful satellite station here, where you can get all your reception for your satellite services. Now we got, we have, uh, who's rolling in? There is Forge Fire coming in the backside. They're at the helipad side. Sneaking two in here. Jugs taking out Anderson. Now we have SKS Roughnecks coming around. There's Malik taking out Jugs. Let's get that scoreboard up. Everybody loves seeing that scoreboard. But we have Forge Fire coming in. Oh, there goes SKS sneaking in right behind him. Defender X taking out Bob Waffle. We have a little contest happening here. But Joe Magic is there. Joe Magic, one of the best point cappers out there. Joe Magic making his way around to that smoky, sneaky corner. But Chippy Chip is there to take out Rusty and Joe. Chippy Chip coming in and trading off. Taking out the def defender, taking out Chippy Chip, and I think Joe traded off with Chippy Chip there. All right, what do we got in the chat here? Jug says, "Can you hear me now? <laughs> Can you hear me now?" All righty, point being left here. Nobody rolling, and now SKS getting in on point. Let's take a look over on the backside where Forge would be coming from. See one Forge member coming up that back little snow alley area. 
Gonna have some action here if they make their way up. They're throwing nades in. There's gonna be a little cutoff. Anderson taking out Waffle and Taco. Rusty taking out Jugs. Malik taking out Nader. And Nader taking out Joe with the big nade at the last second there to get him off point. But now we have Malik or Maloik on point. Chippy Chip taking out Anderson. They're still circling this point, getting the cap here. It's at 89%. We're looking at SKS. Gonna start getting that first transmit any second. We can see all of uh, Forge Fire starting to rush in all the way at the backside. That's gonna be a long run. They're splitting it off, going for a helipad. Let's see if we get on the backside here and see what is going on here. They're coming up for Snow Road or Snow Alley. One taking the underground, one going for the ammo crate side. Now they're sneaking up. Two rolling in. Now, can they get the Nader? We have Bob Waffle taking out Malik. Chippy taking out Rusty. They're going to get that neutralization. But they're getting shot from around. Joe Magic coming in and saving the day. Taking out Taco and Chippy Chip. Joe with the big save of that transmit there. Joe hiding out underneath the satellite there. And this is going to be a turn and burn on this point. They're going in for the rush position now. Jugs taking out Defender who is trying to take the long shots there at the half wall. They are looking around now for which point are we going to go to. We got Snow Road being covered up here just in case we go to the village. Let's take that little 360 view and see where, are, where we're going to be going to. They're trying to guess over for substation or cave. Got a few members making their way here. But we are going over to the village. A lot of people. Let's see if we can catch somebody. There's already Taco Burrito already getting a point. Nader taking out Joe and Rusty taking out Jugs. Taco throwing some smoke on point. First one on point here. We've got Taco hanging out on point, who is making their way through the Y road. That looks like Defender Rex already going to have some action there. Defender taking out Nader, but Taco's still all by herself on point here. Let's cut through the mountain and catch up on Taco. Taco just chilling out here all by herself. Capping this one here. Nobody even getting close to it. I think that cut at, that they took over to the substation might have bought them a little bit of time here. 56% Anderson taking out Jugs. Where are you, Anderson? Are you coming around the backside? We can see that they're coming at spawn. There they are. Defender taking out Nader. Bob Waffle taking out Anderson. They're buying Taco enough time, but Taco goes down. Defender taking out Bob Waffle. And now we have a contest on the point here. Taco trying to find him, but Maloik is there to take out Taco. Now SKS on point. Taco almost getting that all by herself. Nader! Using his name there and taking out Maloik with the big chicky nuggy. But they still have two on right now. One on the front, one on the back. Looked like somebody was rolling in. They're coming in through the broken shack. Coming in through the smoke. Can they find him in the smoke? They're firing, but Joe is there to take out Nader in the smoke. Joe hanging out at the back side. We got Rusty here as well. Rusty all by himself. Nope, Rusty's got back up now to cap this. They're trying to make their way. They're firing right into that spot area. There's Taco collecting tags. Anderson taking out Chippy Chip. Taco now making her way up. Using that smoke for some coverage. Gonna have a couple people here to battle out. Looking for them. Tucking on the wall. Taco firing. One at it. Still can't get them. Taco holding on the wall. Getting taken down. Bob Waffle taking out Malloy. Defender taking out Nader. And Anderson taking out Taco. And they're going to get a transmit starting here. There it is. That transmit has started. There's Joe hanging out. Look at that corner Joe is tucked in on. Let's see if Joe is going to get the pick here. Holding that gun back. Joe's going to have the execution pick. Joe firing. There it is. And Joe taking out Bob Waffle as he went by. No chance. Joe going to get a second there unless Bob Waffle called it. They're just firing. But Joe's going to have that second one there. Joe on the chase now. And there's Joe taking out Jugs. This is why we call him. One of the best cappers in the game there. Knows where to be on point there and grab it. Taco burning that point. Getting out of there. Going to go up to substation properly. Probably going to head up there. Taco dropping some claymores there. Taco very well known for dropping claymores all over the place. And there's Taco taking out Rusty over at the substation. Taco getting some fire. Got a whole butt out of there going in the underground now. Taco listening around just in case there is someone close by. Let's see Jugs. Jugs is going to be crossing past Taco right now. There it is. Nader taking himself out. And Jugs throwing everything. He's lucky that was Taco's.
Claymore or else he would have gone down. This point is about to open up right now. There's Jugs on point. He's holding up here. He's going to have one person. There it is. Joe right underneath. Great spot. I love that spot where Joe is at. But Joe is firing. He's got too many people. Jugs taking out Joe. Rusty taking out Jugs. Anderson taking out Taco. SKS Roughnecks coming in and showing up here today. Just muscling their way in on point. Nader with the big nade on Anderson. Taking him out. Dropping a little dinner for him there. But Defender taking out Chippy. Nader taking out Rusty underneath the bridge there. And now they've got it back on point. Malik taking out Nader. He's making his way in. Malloy getting off point now. He wants to go kill some people. Sounds like over at Tarp Ammo. And there they are at Tarp Ammo. They're going to be going over th for the bridge side. We've got two Forge Fire members. And they get one. Anderson taking one. Defender taking the other. There goes Jugs and Waffles down. We have a cleanup over here on aisle one. Oh, big nade just missing. Point being capped. Where's Joe at? Let's look for Joe on point. Where is he? There he is right in the corner. Holding that corner. He gets the angle. He can watch if they run up the road. He's got backup with him. I believe that might be Rusty with him. Looks like Rusty on the corner there. And they're going to get that transmit starting. There it is. Joe can see that little corner. Is he going to pick him on that run? That's Jugs running up. Maloik taking out Chippy. Waff Waffle taking out Maloik. Joe here still holding that corner. That smoke is giving him a little bit of cover right now. But Joe taking out Jugs as he walks in. No Jugs today. Defender taking out Bob Waffle. They're just trying to get on point. Who's coming in underneath? Is that Taco? believe that might be Taco coming in. But there's Joe to take out Nader. That was actually Nader trying to make their way in. And Joe still taking people down. Not letting anybody get in on his point. He is calling these all his right now. We can see they're over by the cave bridge there. Holding that point there. Just in case they have to burn over to that side. Nobody coming in. Looks like there's some action going on here. Anderson taking out Taco Burrito. They're already firing it off in the cave. Chippy taking out Maloik. They're fighting for the cave. Throw on either side of the container. Who is going to bite first? Anderson coming around. Anderson taking out Jugs as he tried to sneak up on him. But Chippy Chip taking out Anderson. Few tags here. Taco Burrito. Chippy Chip on here. But the point is going to be over at Satellite. That's going to burn them there. They got a little bit of time to get here now. And they're going to have a fight. There's Maloy taking out Chippy and Defender taking out Nader. One left here. Can they fight their way? Bob Waffle taking out Maloik right at the cave entrance there. But Anderson returning the favor and taking out Bob Waffle. And now you have SKS Roughnecks who are right at substation over on point now. Let's take a look where they are. Where's Joe? Joe right in the corner. Rusty behind the little hut here. They're trying to throw the nades in. Trying to make their way. Rusty taking out Taco Brio on that front door. We can see that looks like Nader, I believe, coming up. Who's coming up the snow road or the snow alley? They're going to meet Defender and Joe. There's that transmit. Joe now getting taken out by Jugs who tried to come in the front. But Rusty was there to return the kill favor. They're making their way in. Defender there, but Nader taking Defender out. Defender had the full clear line on him. But Malloy taking out Nader. Chippy Chip taking out Anderson. Chippy Chip coming and taking out Maloik. Two down for Chippy Chip. He's going to start getting the neutralization. They're looking for Chippy Chip right now. But this is going to end it. Can he get it? Oh, he saves it at the last second. Stopping it. But Rusty is there to collect the tag. And there we have round one. 85 to 0. Going over. Let me write this down. 85 to 0. Going over to SKS Roughnecks. So round number 1 going down there. Roughnecks taking round 1. We're going to be flipping sides. We're going to be battling it out in Arctic. Very interesting that they actually started with Arctic first. You don't see a lot of teams uh, going that way first. Usually you'll, you'll go with what's uh, out on the uh, list there. But you know what? Dealer's Choice... Uh, if they want to go with uh, Arctic first, there's no big deals in it. You can do Arctic first. You can switch it up. 
There is no rule on which map you got to go with first. Let's end that prediction and see where all those points went to. All right, here we go. 95% going to the Roughnecks, 5% going to Forge Fire. Roughnecks grabbing those points. Congratulations to everybody that played here today. We will do the next one when we get over to downtown um, and see how it goes there. We won't do it back in Arctic. Don't want you guys to get bored of the uh, predictions there. But what a start there. Roughnecks coming in and just taking that point. Joe Magic there. Rusty on point. Anderson, defender. They're firing it off. Nader doing what Nader does. Dropping them on everybody. Great job there by them. We're looking out for that lobby to start up. Could be a quick flip. Uh, nothing yet there. So we just got to keep an eye out just in case they do go for that quick flip. I think they might be trading some players out now. I didn't see uh, Rabbit actually. We didn't see Jiu-Jitsu on there. So he might be coming in for downtown or might be waiting for him to jump in. But we are waiting for that lobby to open up there. Alrighty. So we're just waiting for that lobby to go up. And nothing yet there. But no, these two teams are going at it. Arctic is a tough one because when you go down in Arctic, it is a long run uh, to see where you got to go to. That is the only problem with Arctic. You can get on point. You can touch it. But if you die, it is too far to make it, especially if you're on that helipad side. That helipad side, I think, is by far the worst one to be on. That's I, I think that is the bad spawn. If you're up on the top side, let's call it on the hangar side there, you I think you honestly you have a lot closer uh, runs to all the points. You're you're close to the satellite, you're close to substation, right? You're really close to everywhere. The host team gets to choose the order. Uh usually you know, I guess you could say the host team can uh, control the order, but you do have to ask the other team if it is okay that you start on uh, Arctic. You want to kind of have that mutual agreement that you guys will start on Arctic just because you might have different uh, players that you want to play on Arctic. So, for example, on our team, we don't have we have players that don't want to play Arctic. So if they start Arctic first, then we have to you know change those players out and bring in other ones. Uh, so you have to keep that in mind. You can't just throw Arctic and say, hey, we're starting right away. You want to make sure that, you know, you do have, uh, you know, that mutual conversation. While you're in lobby, just say, hey, I want to hit up Arctic first. Everybody cool with that? And then you go from there. So we are just waiting for the lobby to open up. As soon as this gets here, we're going to get into the action. So there definitely must be some changes or something going on. Because uh, I don't see their lobby yet. I do see a few lobbies going. We've got Dizzle has a lobby. We have Wes has a lobby going. There's a lot of great lobbies here. Uh, so if you're in those private lobbies, there are a lot of great ones. Even Astraeus has a private lobby going on. But we are waiting for Chippy Chip to get this lobby up. So I'm not really sure uh, what is uh, exactly going on. Uh, the league did set. I do believe the league, uh, I think it, it was set. Uh, we got that lobby opened up, so let's get in there. We will talk about that when we get back out of here. But I do think the league, they kind of gave you that order you might want to go in. Let's get into that action, everyone. Alrighty, it doesn't look like any changeovers. Oh, quick draw is in now. So we have quick draw in here. Let's get a little upside view here where we're going to be going to. Alright, so it looks like Quick Draw is in right now. And they are starting to make that run now. There they go. They are running over to Satellite. Point one going to be over at Substation. We see that little split off. One going to Snow Road. Three going right for the Satellite. So definitely got a little different approach here. We already have SKS getting on point now. Forge Fire needs to throw everything. They're unloading everything on this point. Now we've got a couple members going in. Taco taking out Tactical Dab. But we still have one. Taco taking out Bird now. Two for Taco. Three for Taco taking out Rusty. Taco taking three down. Can she make it four? We got, let's see if we can get four out of Taco right now. Taco taking out four, three right now. Holding it on point. There's a contest going. Oh, and they come in. Jugs trading it off with Joe. What's going to sneak in behind Taco? And maybe take Taco down. Chippy taking out Quick Draw. 
Now we have uh, Forge Fire on point. The nade's just missing. Forge Fire still on point. Taco looking around to get that fourth kill right now. But Bird is there to take a bite out of Taco. Nader taking out Bird. Nader taking out Tack. Rusty taking out Nader. Chippy taking out Rusty. And the point is still being capped by Forge Fire. They're going to start getting this transmit any second now. Unless SKS can get in here to stop them. That nade just missing. Quick draw taking out Chippy. The transmit has started. Jugs taking out Quick Draw. Rusty trading it off with Quick Draw. Sorry, Rusty trading it off with Jugs. Who do we have on point there? That's Bob Waffle. Joe taking out Bob Waffle. Now Joe rolling in. He wants to get that neutralization. Stop this as fast as he can. They, they're looking for Joe. They're trying to find Joe. Joe hiding behind the container. They're coming around for Joe. Who's going to fire first? Tack getting take, takes out Nader. Taco taking out Joe. Taco taking out Tack. And then we have Bird taking out Taco. Taco coming in rolling hard right now. Taco did not like that last round. I think Joe is rocking an MP5 right now. But did they, they got that neutralized there at the last second. Next point, are we going over to cave? We are going over to cave right now. Bird holding up by the hangar. Bird firing and taking out Bob Waffle. Bird still holding up at the hangar. Let's see if anybody's going to try and chase out Bird. Things are just throwing things. Just missing Bird. Bird jumping around. Using those arms to flap around. Getting right out of the way. They're smoking over the bridge. Nobody comes from the range. They're trying to chase down Bird. But Bird has backup with him. And now we have SKS on point. This is the point you do not want to die on. The run is so long. Tack, take it out. Nader, here they come in. You can see the nades coming in. We have three SKS members creating a little triangle there. Rusty taking out Jugs as he trying to make his way in. Now we have another SKS member. Four SKS members rolling in. They five SKS members now in. No SKS members are on the outside. They're all in here. But Bob Waffle comes in and takes out Quick Draw. They're looking for Bob Waffle. Tack taking out Bob Waffle. Now they got the revenge. There's the transmit starting. They're coming in through the back door. That looks like Taco Burrito coming in. Taking fire. But Joe taking out Chippy Chip. They're all firing at everybody trying to get in here. A lot of tags being floated around. They're going in for that cleanup duty. Sending the vacuums. Clean it all up right now. This point is done. And there is no point of trying to make your run here. There's Nader taking out Tactical Dab. And now we have a Forge Fire member trying to make their way. They're taking fire. Now they're firing. They're trying to chase around. They're looking for each other. They're going to see each other. Still taking some fire. Who is going to get it? They're running around this like a ring around the rosy, but Rusty not giving up and chasing Nader. I think Nader was trying to lock something in his hand there and throw it. Wink, wink. I wonder what he was going to throw. And now Quick Draw taking out Chippy Chip. They're just firing. And look at that. Like a SWAT team. Walk and fire. Not letting anybody out of their sights. They want to shoot everybody. There's some fire going over at the satellite. Rusty taking out Jugs off the point. Point is unlocked. There's a lot of tags there. Now you have SKS Roughnecks on point. They're probably going to push up. There it is over on the snow road. They are now going to watch it. But they are coming from the cave side. Nobody looking. But J Joe Magic is there to take out Taco Burrito. They're holding the corners down. We can see somebody up at hangers. Are they going to try to jump the wall? Oh, and there's Quick Draw right in the corner to take out Bob Waffle and Nader. Chippy coming in and taking Tactical Dab down. But Joe, the cap man on point still. There he is tucked in, getting low. Quick Draw taking out Jugs. We're at 95. This is going to start that transmit. They are going to bring this back to an even Stevens game. We're looking for Forge Fire right now. Where are they coming out of? We can see one Forge Fire member holding here. Is that Taco Burrito? That is Taco Burrito. Oh, and there it is. Execution style Taco Burrito. It paid off the way. Two kills for Taco Burrito. Take it out, quick draw. And Bird. That just paid off. Can Taco Burrito get in there and get the neutralization? But there is Rusty. But Taco taking out Rusty. And Nader taking out Joe. That is almost a full team wipe. Now they're going to get... This is definitely going to be a neutralization here for Forge Fire. Oh, wait. We got somebody coming in. Can they get him? That is a Forge Fire member coming in. That was Chippy Chip coming around. Now Chippy sliding all the way down that mountain. And they're going to get that neutralization at 10. That is a huge neutralization there for Forge Fire. 
Now they're just firing. Joe Magic trading off with Chippy Chip. I think we have a uh, food team here. Chippy Chip, T Taco Burrito, Jugs, Bob Waffle. This should be Forge Food. All right, let's get back into it here. Where is everybody rolling to? Now we got Quick Draw. He's making his way. Where are you heading off to? Point unlocking. We are going all the way. Is, is he on the right side of it? Quick Draw, where are you going to? Who is closest to the point? There is Joe. We are going over to the village. Joe taking his time. What are you rocking there? An MP5? Jug's taking out Joe. We've got now three Forge Fire members coming in for the flank. Quick Draw taking out Chippy Chip. Rusty taking out Jugs. Taco Burrito taking out Rusty. Bob Waffle taking out Tackle Dab. And now they are on point getting that neutralization. But we see one member still in here. They don't see him in the smoke. He's coming around. Can he come around and finish it? Quick draw with the nade on Bob Waffle. Taco coming around. Taco taking fire. Needs to get back in there. But there is Bird to take out Taco Burrito. And now we have SKS on point. They're going to start rushing in from the front side. We already see Forge members starting to make that run from the front side. One coming in. They're going to the back side of the... Um, the little house there. Chippy Chip taking out Quick Draw. But somebody's still on point here. Who's on point here? Where are you at? There you are. There's Joe on point. He's also got Rusty Tron on point. Joe now going to go right into that smoke. We can see one member of Forge Fire. They are not going to make their way. We have another ad starting to roll up here. They are at the little house. Nade's coming in. Now they're trying to come in through the front side. Chippy Chip taking out Tactical Down. Jugs rolling in. He's taking out Rusty. But we see Joe. Joe taking out Jugs. But Taco Burrito is there to take out Joe Magic. And Taco taking out Bird. Taco with the two-piece kill there. Now Taco on point now. They're going to get the neutralization going. They're going to stop this one maybe at 10 again. There's a Nate just missing that one there. And they got the neutralization at 7. That is a huge one. Taco Burrito coming in with a big save there to stop that uh, transmit there. That was a huge save. Looks like we are going over to the substation. They are checking out the snow road just in case anybody's coming up behind them. Checking out the hangars. Waiting to see. We see some smoke already. Where is everybody going to get coming from? They're firing already from the tarps there. Nobody over at tarps. Nobody on point. One underneath. Did they see him? There's Joe popping out. Joe pops out and takes out Bob Waffle. Tack taking out... Uh, I don't know who Tack just took out there. I didn't get to see the name. Nader taking out Joe Magic. They have Rusty on point. Rusty needs to look to his right. They're coming out. Rusty's taking fire. Now they got backup. Rusty's on there. Tactical Dab is on there. Nader taking out Rusty. But Tack is there to take out Nader. Tack still there capping away. In the smoke. Now pushing back. They're at the Greek Tater. It's going to be Tack. It's going to be Chippy Chip. Tack. Dipping Chippy Chip in that one and taking him out. Quick Draw taking out Taco Burrito. Bob Waffle taking out, Bo taking out Bird Person. Jugs taking out Quick Draw. Tack taking out Bob Waffle. Joe taking out Jugs. This is one after another. Kill Feed just rolling by here. Now we have SKS on point. A lot of tags being left behind. We can count three tags that they're not picking up. There they go. Now they're going to get some tag collection. Looks like we have three members of SKS on point there. Tags even over at the tarp cave side there. Now, but Taco Burrito with a big nade on Tactical Dab. Chippy Chip taking out Bird Person. Joe taking out Taco. Chippy taking out Quick Draw. But Joe still on point there. I think he's on point. We got somebody there. SKS is still on point. They're getting that transmit. They are waiting it out now. That nade's going over the little wall. Rusty taking out Jugs. Waffle taking out Rusty. And now it is open for Forge Fire to come in on point and get the neutralization. They're going to be circling each other. Bob Waffle taking out Joe right in the butt cheeks. Now they're going to get the neutralization. Stopping it at 17%. 75-24 right now is the score for SKS. Let's take a look and see where they're rolling into. There's Quick Draw. He's making his way into the cave. We've already got three members of SKS in on the cave. They've had the guesses right this whole entire match. Quick Draw looking around. Quick draw, not quick enough on that one. Nader coming in and taking him out. Now Nader trying to make his way in. He's got to watch out how he comes in because there is SKS all over the place. But Nader taking out Bird. That's two down for Nader. We got Tack. We got Rusty. 
Tack taking out Nader. Rusty taking out Bob Waffle. And now nobody coming in for Forge Fire. We hear, it sounds like somebody threw um, a knife at somebody. Now we have three members of SKS right on point here. There's Joe catching the bonfire, keeping him his hands warm there. We can see one member of Forge Fire coming in. But Rusty is there to stop him in their tracks. This cave is close to Forge Fire right now. Rusty Tron can see one person, but they jumped off the front of the cave. They might be trying to sneak around the backside or the side entrance. This is going to be a transmit there. 74 to 20. If they get the full cap here, this will end it. Quick draw taking out Jugs. This point is looking around. Don't see anybody from Forge Fire. That countdown is started. There's Bird Person taking a two-piece skill. Taking out Chippy and Nader. We see those tags there. They're trying to make their way through. It is being held here. This is locked like Fort Knox right now. Nobody coming near the point. Bird taking out Bob Waffle. It is going to end it here. 74. Nobody getting to that point. That countdown is rolling. Bird is rolling up. He wants to get that tag. Doesn't care if he dies. Rather get the tag on that one. And we are going to end it right here with Joe Magic on point. 74 to 0 is the score. Seventy-four zero round two going over to SKS. We are going now over to downtown. So we'll be going hanging out in the downtown, catching that subway station, watching out where all the bullets are going to be flying. Let's get this set up for the next one here. All righty, they don't need to switch sides, which is always really fun. So I can keep everything the same. Just got to update those scores. So we are now going into downtown. This could be a little bit of a change-up game right now. Forge Fire, like we always say, can get into that back of station. You lock them down. We are going to be getting a great matchup. Nice and small map. We're going to see good hiding spots here. We're going to see some spawn killing. We're going to see some nades on point. They are not disappointing in this match right now. So we are going to be going to downtown. Round 1 going to 85-0 to zero SKS. Round 2 going SKS 74-0. to zero. Those are some big numbers for the points there. Always want to keep those numbers always above 70. Um, that way you can get those highest points you can. I believe 61 is the cutoff uh, before you start getting lower and lower in the points there. Uh, so you want to make sure to always keep those numbers as high as you can. But the games are getting really close. They're doing an amazing job right now. Uh, we have Nessa over on Channel 2, like we said earlier. She's got uh, UMAT and Wong Crew over there battling it out. If anybody has that score, what is going on over there, let us know. Put it in the chat. Is uh, They should be going into Game 3 as well already, I believe. Because we both started at the same time. They're restarting, I heard. Nice. Nice to know. 1-0 for, uh, for UMAD. UMAD takes these victories... They are going to run away with first place. They are so far ahead of everybody right now. They could just take off and run and put people in the dust. 91.77 for you, Matt. Thank you so much there for keeping us updated. Always good to keep everybody updated. Don't forget to like, follow, and you can subscribe with your Prime. If you have Prime Gaming, Amazon Prime, you can actually get free subscription uh, to any of the channels you want. Uh, so you got one channel that you can subscribe to. Uh, so you got channel one, two, and three here. Uh, so you can subscribe to channel one and two if you choose. Uh, but make sure to follow all three channels so you don't miss any of that action. And also you can uh, join the role in VRPL. Um, there's a role there in one of the announcement channels or in the roles channel called Stream Sniper. So if you click on that. When we are about to cast, we will hit the at stream sniper, let you know what channel it's on, who's, um, you know, you'll know who's casting and what the matchup is and what the time is at. Uh, so definitely want to make sure to get that role in there. So at least you get pinged when things are going down. So we are just waiting for that lobby to go up here. All right. These are the last two games for this week's roundup so round nine sorry round eight coming up to an end once these two teams are done then next week or tomorrow we'll be going into round nine where we will be going into beautiful lumber and ministry i know a lot of people have some up and down thoughts on ministry um it's you know it's an okay map uh, i don't mind i'm, I'm kind of getting more used to it uh, embassy you know i didn't like it at the beginning but i really do enjoy embassy uh it is actually a great map once you understand the way Embassy works, 
your callouts can get very easy in Embassy. Uh, the map is stationed like a clock, basically. Uh, you got four corners or four quadrants. The map is broken up into four quadrants. You got color coding. You got blue rooms. You got red rooms, right? You got that center point. So it's an, actually a very easy map uh, for callouts when you're playing. Uh, so you'll see when you're in pub lobbies, anybody's making callouts, and you can kind of pick it up really fast exactly where that person is. You know, if they call out a statue, you know exactly it's right in the center. So I actually kind of really uh, started to enjoy um, Embassy. Afghan is, you know, it's not bad. Uh, there are some uh, some things I do have to reach out to Astraeus about. Um, we did find a little spot that he did, he needs to uh, do an update there. Uh, so I do have to report a spot to Astraeus. So I got to do a video there to show him. Uh, I, ha I think I've only told one or two other people uh, about that spot because we were playing in a match. And uh, they were asking, how the heck was I killing everybody in the spawn area when you're not supposed to see people in the spawn area behind the cave? Uh, so it's a really interesting spot that you can get into. So I got to show that to Astraeus uh, so that way it can get fixed up. So when I get time from the casting, we will get that uh, to him. Then they can get that all updated. All righty. I just got to... I just got a smiley face from Chippy Chip. I was going to say, you know, you just threw me a smiley face. We're going into round three, and he just hit me up now, letting me know, hey, we're, we're all good here. <laughs> oh, that's a great one. Uh, but, yeah, so make sure you guys follow everything. We're going to have great matches coming up next week, all new pairings. So we're going to get to see who's going up there. We have about another three weeks of matches, and then we're going to be going into playoffs. Uh, as you guys have seen with the amendments and the announcements, now we are it's being pushed to the top 12 teams that are going into the playoffs. So there is going to be a lot of fights for the playoffs now that you have top 12 teams. And the way these are going, what's going on, Joe? I've called it, Joe. I've said it even in lobbies and pubs. You are one of the best cappers out there. We saw it here. You were rocking those cap points. You were, you were just doing a great job. I, I, I always say, I'm always impressed by how you cap. You know, we, me and Joe go way back playing this game. So, yeah, we, we, go, we go way, way back playing this. But... Uh, you know, everybody's doing a wicked job here. We're just waiting for this to start off. Anybody, what do you guys think? It. Oh, we should do a... You know, we're going to save it for round four. We're going to leave the prediction for round four. That way, we can see how this round goes. And then we can go into round four. Let's leave that prediction. They're starting now. Okay. Chippy Chip just realized that he could talk to me on Discord while we're, we're live here. So he's just hit me up saying that they are starting. So we're going to get into there. Quick draw. The name does not, uh, doesn't do justice. You are quick on that gun. You are taking people out. Taco Burrito is the host now. Okay. Thanks, Chippy, for letting me know. It's a good thing I know Taco. Uh, let's get into it. Taco is the host. We're getting into round three. We're going to downtown. Let's get into some contractors, everyone. Oh, they did switch sides on us. Interesting. Okay. They did switch sides. That is an interesting one. Usually, they don't switch sides, but we could do that really quickly. Bubba in. He naded himself. Looks like somebody forgot to yell out. What do we say, everybody, in the chat when you start a VRPL match? Loadouts, loadouts, loadouts. Get your loadouts. We are going over to Black Car. Where is everybody? They are taking their time. Here they come now, rushing that taxi road. Let's see what SKS can do here. We see some changeovers. Randall is in. Uh, who else we got in here? Looks like Mr. Anderson is back in. We've got Jujitsu Rabbit in. He's made that change. A lot going on. Waffle taking out Anderson. Anderson taking out Waffle. Jugs taking out Rusty Chan. Defender taking out. Malik, defender, take it out. Oh my lord, that went so fast. I should have caught that one. Forge coming in. Look at this kill count there. It is going down. Now we have, looks like we have Maloik on point. He is right behind that bulletproof tree. All right, here we go. Maloik is on it. Now he's going to go to black car. He must be getting the call that go get them. Maloik taking out Nader. Defender taking out Waffle. Now we have Rusty getting a point. Rusty also doing a lot of point capping here for the squad right now. Oh, got to change that score there. Uh, had them on the wrong side there. My bad. Let's do that. Alrighty. There we go. Alrighty. 
We are back at it. It is 65%. Who is speed cap in here? Nobody. This is all rusty on this point. And Randall taking out Nader. Randall right here at the back of the black car. He's just firing away. He's taking some fire. He's popping behind it. Little gang style shooting out here. They're firing. He's firing. Defender taking out Taco Burrito. Randall still firing. They're running underneath. Randall just missing those shots there. They got underneath. Waffle taking out Defender. Malloy taking out Jiu-Jitsu Rabbit. These guys are making me hungry with all these names right now. Rabbit, Waffle, Burrito. Jeez, getting hungry out right now. Rusty getting this point. We can see who is hiding out here. Is that Rusty? Rusty does not want to let anybody to his point. He's going to stay there. Randall taking out Nader and Taco at the back of the car. And Defender taking out Jugs now. Rusty now finally getting out of here. He, th he knows this is enough for that point. They're not going to bother getting to it. Anderson taking out Rabbit. They're going up to the front of the station. Looks like they're going to try and guess for the station. Or are they going to go inside and try to get that lockdown? There's Randall. They're all grabbing windows. They're all in the station right now. They're using the station as a center point. Get everybody here and lock it down. There you go. You can see them at the back of the station. They're going to have some enemies here. Anderson taking out Waffle. Rusty taking out Jugs. Here comes a couple victims right now. Are they going to see them? Defender taking out Taco. Defender taking out Jiu-Jitsu Rabbit. Anybody coming out the backside is going to meet up with Maloik. And looks like Defender there. We have also somebody underneath the station who's taking fire. That was Nader getting taken out by Mr. Anderson. And here they come. Maloik taking out Bob Waffle. And Randall taking out Taco Burrito. Here is the death zone. If I had one of those pens that you can draw on like they do in the football games we would do the little drawing square here this is the kill zone do not enter right now they are holding this point point is over where is point it is inside the station this station is on full lockdown look at all that smoke they're coming underneath the station maloink is there he's got a victim they're trying to find him and maloink just takes the double tap to the head like he's taking out a zombie always want to double tap them but they're making their way in Nader comes in, takes out Randall. Jiu-Jitsu way up and taking out Defender. Malloy takes out Nader. Taco Burrito taking out Rusty. Malloy taking out Taco Burrito. Forge Fire came in. They had the chance. Good thing that SKS had a couple of members still up here or else they would have been having that point right back on them. Malloy taking out Jugs. Forge Fire had some great momentum run on that one. Now they're coming in. There is Jiu-Jitsu Rabbit. He feels the heat coming in. He's looking for where they're at. Coming around the corner. He wants to get that neutralization. He's trying to find a spot. We thought he they were in here with him. But Jiu-Jitsu Rap getting the neutralization. Are they going to let him leave it and get it? Defender taking out Nader. Taco Burrito taking out Defender. Jiu-Jitsu getting the neuter there at 14%. Anderson taking out Bob Waffle. Rabbit taking fire. He's bobbing and weaving. Rabbit taking out Maloika. He is moving like a rabbit. Bob left, right left right here we go he is dancing around somebody's got the salsa in them now we got rusty tron taking out jugs anderson taking out rabbit over at the front side now they're going for the lockdown there's rusty taking a taking out nader and waffle taking out tron better move your butt out of there because they are chasing you down they are looking for it. It is that front side station. Malloy taking out Bob Waffle. Bob Waffle taking out Anderson. We are over at the front side station. Over by the taco bus. Defender taking out Jugs. They are still capping and going. Defender taking out Jiu-Jitsu Rabbit. The nades coming in and just missing right now. Now we got a neutralization going on back of the pillar. But Defender comes in and takes out Nader. Not allowing him to get to that back side of the pillar. Now everybody coming in on the point. They're over at the taco bus. They're trying to make their way. Bob Waffle getting taken out by Randall. Rusty taking out Taco Burrito. Randall still at the front of the taco. They are holding this point down. Not going to allow anybody from Forge making their way here. They want to get the highest point ranking you can get. Randall taking out Jiu-Jitsu Rabbit. They're up at the catwalk making their way down. Can they get behind the bus for cover? There they go. They're at the, at the bus. Nader taking out Randall with a nice bob and weave. They're going in for that transmit, but Nader can't get any closer. Defender doing what his name says, defending that point, not allowing them to get near it. Jugs taking out Anderson. Let's see what it looks like 
over on the forge side. Every time I click a body, it just goes down. Jujitsu Rabbit, Defender taking an attack. Jujitsu Rabbit trying to fight somebody. Shred. He's taking fire. Rabbit taking out Rusty Tron. Rabbit taking out Defender. Now he's going around to the alleyway, going back side of the alley. Wants to see if he can do a little flank position there. He's going to go probably all the way around. He's waiting for the top. There it is. Rabbit taking the third kill. Taking out Randall. That's three kills for him. What's going on, Chippy Chip? Jiu-Jitsu Rabbit taking out Malik. That's four. And Defender ending Rabbit's life. Making some Rabbit stew there. Taking him down after four kills on a four kill streak there. Jugs taking out Rusty Tron. This point is still being chased around. Let's see who is alive. There's Taco Burrito. They got the neutralization. New point up. Taco Burrito rocking with that one hand. Doing that hip fire. Throwing a smoke out just in case. A Anderson taking out Rabbit. Malloy taking out Jugs. Taco Burrito knows there's people here. She is watching herself. She's got to be careful. She's firing. Taco Burrito taking out Anderson. Who was coming up behind. Collecting his tag. Getting that cookie. Taco Burrito coming around. Malloy taking out Nader. Taco Burrito using that smoke. Collecting everything that she can. Taco Burrito taking fire. And there's Defender taking out Taco Burrito. But they trade off. Taco getting at least a kill there. We have right now SKS on point in the smoke. I bet you're in the corner here. There you are. Randall's in the corner. A lot of people use this little bus corner right here. Because you get a great hiding spot. Nobody will see you. Drop some smoke right here. And you've got that line of cover. Nader dropping the bomb on Randall. And we see Anderson in the alleyway. Great smoke spots there. Now the smoke's starting to dissipate. The transmit coming. They're upstairs the billboard. They're at the ammo crate. Taco taking out Anderson. The fire going down, but they can't get the they can't get the neuter close enough. They're slowly trying to make the way. They gotta beat that power slide and get into that billboard. Now they're coming in for the neutralization. Jugs taking out Randall. Taco taking out Defender. Nader taking out Rusty. They're getting that neutralization right now. They're trying everything they can do to get that neutralization. And they get it at seven. Great job neutralizing that forge fire. They are really good at neutralizing these points. They are getting quick, fast neutralizations right now. They're getting in, getting out when they have to neutralize. And we are going into the station. This is the, could be the last point for Forge, but they are already in here right now. I believe that's Bob Waffle right behind the escalators. He needs to tuck in. They need to get everybody in here. Do not leave any members outside. Get everybody in here. Block every entrance you can. Defender taking out Rabbit. Now we have another Forge member making their way in. 86 to 9. If every all five members get in here right now and you cover front, back, you cover catwalk, and you get a couple of the windows, you can lock this down and not allow anybody in. Can't afford to let those tags go. Randall takes out Waffle. Jugs takes out Randall. Malloy taking out Jugs. Taco taking out... Malloy taking out Taco. That is a lot of kills going down. Defender taking out Rabbit. And now we have SKS on point, and they're going to get that neuter, and now they're going to get that tra the cap going. There you go. They're watching the windows. Anderson not going to let anybody come in from there. They're watching the catwalk. Defender gets the kill on Nader there. There you go. They're watching the windows. Oh, what a shot by Bob Waffle. Picking off Anderson at the window. Can they come in? Jugs taking out Maloik. Two on one there. Now they're coming raining, but Rusty is there to take out Jugs. But Bob Waffle comes in, takes out Randall. Defender taking out Bob Waffle. Can they get it? They're still capturing. Getting shots from behind at the front door. Rusty knows he's there. He's going to throw something. Power slide underneath the escalator. They are no longer outside there. Rusty feeling the heat. Taco comes in from behind and takes out Rusty. And now we have Forge Fire on point. They've got two members. Anderson taking out Taco. Nade's coming in. Oh! A big Nade. Malloy taking out Bob Waffle and Anderson taking out Nader. Point going back. There's three tags. They're down to three right now. There's one tag that'll bring them down. Jugs taking out Malloy with the trade off at the backside. Nice shot. Jiu Jitsu Rabbit taking out Anderson. Point now being capped. Randall watch the backside. There it is. Randall taking. Oh, Rusty taking out Nader there. Maybe saving Randall on that one. There's those tags. They're trying to collect them. Oh, Bob Waffle taking out Rusty. Jujus Rabbit taking out Defender. Bob Waffle taking out Randall. Using them to come out of there. 
That was a smart play by Bob Waffle. He was using his head on that one. Let them come out to you. Rabbit trading off with Moloik. Now we got Taco Burrito on. We got Bob Waffle. We have a Waffle and Taco on point right now. Sounds like a Saturday afternoon special. Can I get an order of Taco and Waffle? Rusty taking out Nader. Anderson taking out Taco. Now we have SKS and that game has ended. 80-0. And there you have it, round three, going 80 to zero. All righty, we have, it is three, zero for SKS. So now we're going to switch sides. I wasn't sure why they actually did switch sides um, on that last one. They didn't need to switch sides, so that was interesting. But we are going to switch sides now. So now we know where they're going to be at, so that is good. Switching the sides there. All righty. Do you guys want me to throw the prediction up? Let's get some gambling going. Had to start a new lobby. Okay, no worries. No worries at all. Alrighty, who is ready? Let's get that prediction going. Who is going to win round four? Is it going to be fire? Is it going to be roughnecks? Here we go. Let's start that prediction. Five minutes. Nope, we're going to change it. We're going to do a two minute. Two minutes. There we go. Start that prediction. Get it in there. Alrighty. So we are going into round four. This is going to be it. Can Forge Fire flip those hats inside out? Get the rally caps going. Get the banners out. Waving them in the air. Let's get a rally going up. Forge Fire. Are they going to bring it back and take round four and get some points there against SKS Roughnecks? SKF Rudnecks. The way it's going right now, they are moving like a well-oiled machine. They are moving together. They they know where each other are on point. They know where they are there. The communication, I really wish. If you are listening, Caveman, by any miracle, you are listening to this cast right now. Can you do us a favor? Can you let the casters be able to turn on audio, even for like two seconds or three seconds, to the teams when we are casting? Because that would be the best feature we could ever get. Give us a little snippet. When we're watching, you know, we get into that player view where we see inside their their um, their body. Give us a little like two second clip of the audio of what they're saying in there. Let's get into the mindsets of the players. This will turn this game upside down. The casting would be amazing. The games would be amazing. Just when you're watching it, you know, you're watching it at home or where you're watching it, and you can get that audio. You know, they're up at they're up at the cave. They're over at the taxi. Three here, four there. See how teams communicate. Is it just total chaos communication where they're screaming at each other? Or is it very calm communication? Like you got one guy here, one guy there, two people there, right? I'd love to hear how teams communicate and see how it works. That would be a, an amazing way to cast. Just getting that little snippet. It doesn't have to be very long. I'm saying like two seconds, three Three seconds tops, you know, or enough that you get a couple words that you can hear because that, that would change this whole entire game, I think. It would, it would bring league play all different, you know, how it goes. Maybe you have some different call-outs, right? Just throwing it out there, caveman, if you are watching this, you never know. It might make its way and trickle up to you. Uh, and then you can add that in. We don't need handshaking. We don't need any of that. We don't need nothing fluff and nothing. We just need some cool... Good stuff that will improve the game. That's what we need. But let's get back into this right now. That was my little uh, little caveman. Uh, try and get some fixtures in there. Uh, but we are back at it. Like we said, next week, or actually tomorrow, we got new maps coming out. Tomorrow will be Lumber and Ministry. Week 10, we are going to Dust Town and Embassy. And week 11, Afghan Wildlands. That is what we will be getting for the upcoming weeks here. So we are just waiting for that lobby to open up. And then we will get into round four and see what is going to come of this matchup. Uh, if anybody is in there, Chippy Chip or anybody, just let me know when that ma that round is starting up. So I can keep an eye here. Keep scrolling up and down. Keep hitting that refresh button. Uh, but no lobbies yet, so as soon as it gets, we're going to get right into it. Hope everybody has got their predictions in. Alrighty, Master Dim Sum is telling us UMAD 2-0 to zero right now. 
Wow, it must be a battle in that game. If they're only at going into map three now, it must be some serious battles going on. You can see a lot of points flipping over there. Got Nessa casting uh, over on channel two right now. We're doing a side-by-side -side cast. So, you know, I, I, I was talking with Hulk actually um, a couple days ago. We're going to try and do, or actually, I think last week, well, whenever it was, we're going to try and do a dual cast, get Hulk in here with me. Maybe we can do some dual casts if there's no other games on the board. Get some double casting in here, see if that, you know, how fun that would be, getting a co-caster in, you know, get it to bounce off uh, some stuff. There's Taco. We got a lobby. Let's get into round four. Here we go. Let's end this on a high note. Round four. Let's get into contractors. Alrighty, we are in round four here right now. First point going over. Is that over at the front of station? It is. First point going to front of station. Right in the middle. Let's get that scoreboard up. Who is going to get here first? We want to see who's going to make their way here first. This point is right dead smack center. This is an even run. We can already hear fire. They're coming from the backsides. Jugs taking out Randall. We can already see that SKS has got on point right now. They're coming in from behind. But Defender is there to take out Jugs. Now they're up in station. But we have a cap going on still. Where are you capping from? We got Joe Magic back in. Got a little trade off. Joe back in right now. Rabbit's still in. They're capping underneath the stairs. Got to be careful. Your butt's sticking out there. Someone might shoot you in the butt. Got to watch it. Chippy Chip taken. Out quick draw. Still capping. Just standing there. Just as if nothing is bothering him. Look at Joe. He is standing. Just as if it is nothing. I'm going to chill here and cap away. Now Randall coming in. Randall's turning and firing on Jugs. Big kill there. Taking out Jugs. Now he got the transmit. They're coming through the gar through the garbage bags. Rabbit taking out tactical dabs. Randall going over to the ammo crate and taking out Bob Waffle, not allowing him to take any ammo. Randall taking out Taco. Randall just tearing people apart. Quick draw taking out Chippy Chip. We've got Randall and Quick Draw just going around killing people. We got Defender killing people. Nobody up here pushing up. Let's see if anybody is here. Nope, they're just making their way out of spawn right now. We've got two getting up to the ice cream truck. They're going to be trying to make their way. Smoke being dropped. They're pushing up over to the garbage bags. A lot of smoke. Defender taking out Rabbit. Waffle taking out Defender. Waffle taking out Randall. Now we got Waffle going on a rampage there. They want to get in. This point is fully capped. Joe taking out Burrito and Chippy Chip. Wanted some lunch and some dessert with that one. Now Joe going up into the station. He got that guess. Joe's guessing these right today. He is going to be capping. Where are you going to be capping from Joe? Right in the corner. That is a great cap spot right there. Either where Joe is or right behind the bulletproof wall here. And then we have Randall right now on the backside. Defender taking out Jugs. Point starting to open up right now. And they've got that cap starting. It's at 9%. Joe by himself. He's got Randall now. Here they come in. Who's it going to be? Randall gets taken out by Bob Waffle. Joe firing. Joe taking out Bob Waffle. Now Joe gets taken out by Jujitsu Rabbit. Now we have it going back over to Forge Fireside. And then we have Rabbit on the back. He's fired. We see Tack. Rabbit is there to take down Tack. But Rab Rabbit not capping. Chippy taking out Quick Draw. Rabbit is just going around shooting people. Point still left here. A lot of burning time right now. Now we got Rabbit on point. 91-74. Rabbit takes out Joe and Defender. But Defender trades off with Rabbit. Nobody on point, leaving it at 0%. Now we have somebody on who's underneath. We've got Chippy Chip on point right now. He's underneath the escalators, watching the windows. Now we got Bob Waffle coming in through the backside. They're capping it at 27%. Waffles takes out Randall. Waffles takes out Tack. Tack trading it off with Waffles. They're trying to make their way up the backside, out of that kill box area. They're underneath. Joe's getting taken out by Rabbit. Defender taking out Jugs. Chip still on point, capping away here. He's moving from side to side. Taco taking out Quick Draw. Quick Draw trading it off with Taco Burrito. 
And Chippy Chip, there he is, just chilling out on point, right underneath the station. Make sure nobody sees him there. A little smoke would be nice there to cover him up. They're coming in behind him. They already know exactly where he's at. There it is, Randall coming around, but Chippy Chip trading it and getting the transmit. And now we have, who's in there? They're getting low, Rabbit taking out Tack. Joe firing away, taking out Bob Waffle. He's low getting the neuter. He's getting fired on by his own team. Quick draw taking out Jiu-Jitsu Rabbit. And they're coming in right now. There it is, Quick Draw taking out Jugs. Quick Draw taking out Taco Burrito. That was a three-piece kill right there. He was on a three streak there. And they got the neutralization. New points starting to open up. We are going over to the black car. Let's follow Joe and see where he's going. We're going to beat him there and get up top. We can see they're making their way up taxi right now. But Defender is there to take out Bob Waffle and Quick Draw. There to dump Chippy Chip in his milk. Now Jiu Jitsu Rabbit taking out Defender. Quick Draw taking out the, the Rabbit. We've got Tack by the ATMs. We've got Joe behind the bulletproof sign. They've smoked out the two entrances of the office. Great smoke position there. If Forge Fire comes through there, they will be getting blinded on that one. Let's get a refresh that scoreboard. There it is at 51%. Tack a little bored. He's moving around trying to get a new position. He's going to help speed cap now. Now they're throwing nades at them. They know they're going to be by that tree. That's why those nades are coming in really hot and heavy. We can see a couple pushing up to the taxi, going into the office. But Defender is there to take out Jugs. And Quick Draw is there to nade. Chippy Chippy. Chippy Chip. Waffles taking out Tack. Defender taking out Taco Burrito. Now Joe coming around the corner through the smoke. They've got the transmit going. He's over by the ATMs. Firing away. Trying to shoot into the scaffolding. Waffle taking out Defender. Randall taking out Waffle. Rabbit taking out Randall. Sorry, Rabbit taking out Randall. Joe taking out Rabbit. Woo, that was a lot of kills, as Ric Flair would say. Now they're moving up. They're going to push up, get some ammo. Quick draws, taking fire. He's got to tuck in. Now he's firing back. They're behind the taxi. Quick draw making his way up, trying to see if he can get a little high there. Fill off the scaffolding. We can see somebody inside there. That's a tag just sitting there. Jugs taking out Randall. Rabbit taking out Tack. Let's see where they're at. They're trying to go low side right now. Cutting in through the garage. Waiting at the bottom. They're firing away. Rabbit taking out quick draw. We've got Jugs. Down. No, that's Chippy Chip. He's going up for escalator right now. He's got to watch out when he goes in that escalator. Chippy Chip holding up at the station now. Chippy Chip wants to get some window kills here. He's looking. We see two tags starting to roll out. Jugs taking out Tack. Chippy Chip could have him in line. Defender taking out Jugs. Chippy Chip is there to take out Randall with some revenge killing. 82 to 49. New point about to unlock. Chippy Chip could have a quick draw in his sights. Taco taking out Defender. Quick draw taking out Taco. Randall quick draw. We've got two members going against two members. A 2v2 right now. Who's going to see it first? They're firing at each other. Rabbit taking out Randall. And Chippy Chip taking out Quick Draw, suiciding himself, trying to get up there. And Joe Magic coming in the back, taking out Jugs. Tack taking out Chippy Chip out of the backside. Point is over at traffic. There's a tag by the bus. Who's on point right now? We have Bob Waffle on point already starting to get that capture. 35%. He's now got backup. Waffle going down by Quick Draw. That should be Taco Burrito up on the billboard. Are they going to go up to the um, shortcut window? They're coming at a shortcut. Got two in the traffic right now. We got Quick Draw behind the blue car. Getting taken out in the alleyway. Jugs takes out Randall. Defender takes out Jugs. We have a contesting going on. They know where he is. They jumped out. Quick Draw is going to see Jiu-Jitsu. He's firing away. Jiu-Jitsu is running away. Now we got backup coming in. Defender taking out Rabbit. We've got three on, but we still have Taco Burrito contesting up in the smoke. They're coming around. Turn and fire. Taking out Taco Burrito. Tactical dab. Taking Taco Burrito. Jugs taking out Joe. But they've got that cap going now. Quick draw still on point. Nobody by the black, the dark window. Nobody in the alleyway. Here's Randall now. He's going to help speed cap by that blue car. We've also got tactical dab up top on the billboard. It is a 5v4. Who just dropped Chippy Chip? is the dropped person. Rabbit taking out Randall and Quick Draw. Tack taking out Jugs. Taco Burrito taking out Defender. This could be where they could capitalize on it right now. But 
Now we have the neutralization going. There is Taco Burrito. There is a contest right now. 5v4. Taco Burrito holding this point with everything she has. Holding it there. Not moving. Joe's holding. He's not moving. We have a standstill right here. They need their teammates to get on here and help take out one another. Who has the patience? Let's see who is going to hold that patience. We have somebody in the dark in the shortcut window. Quick draws there. He just needs to fire right through. Randall takes out Rabbit. Now they see Joe. Joe needs to get low. Bob Waffle is right there watching Joe. They're still down one player. Chippy is still down. Still having that contest. Quick draw taking out Bob Waffle. But Taco Burrito is still there. Taco Burrito standing her ground. Not letting anybody get there. Joe going down by Jugs. Now Taco Burrito is going to start getting that capture. Now we see Defender getting in there to get that contest. He's going to go upstairs to try and take out Taco Burrito. Now he's back down holding the contest. Now he's going back upstairs. He has to do something. He is burning time letting that cap go. Now Chippy Chip is back in. Let's get that refresh. Bob Waffle takes out Defender. Bob Waffle taking out Tack. Rabbit taking out Joe. Randall taking out Waffle. Quick draw taking out Burrito. We have a kill. Kill. Kill everybody. Rabbit taking out Randall. Now it's still at a stalemate. It's at 42%. There we go. Now we have Jugs on point. Jugs gets taken out by Quick Draw. Point is dead. Nobody here. This is, I by far, this whole week, all the games I've casted, Traffic has been the point that has been insane. It is trades. It is flip-flops. It is standstills, standoffs, whatever you want to call it. This is where it comes to like just murder and mayhem has been on traffic. Now we have, you should be able to, from that shortcut window, shoot all the way through the crack of the wood there and take out Taco Burrito. But they're speed capping this. Joe taking out Jugs. Joe needs to make the Hail Mary run and get in there with the power slide. He does get in there to get that neutralization. Randall taking out Taco and Defender taking out Chippy Chip. Now you have the neutralization going down there. There it is. They saved it at 1. 77-39 is the score right now. They're looking around to see where we're going to. Where are we going? We are going to the front side station. Oh, hell in the cell has been unleashed. We're going to the front side of the station. Welcome to downtown front side station, taco bus, pillar, whatever you want to call it, statues, garbage bags. This is where we are going to have a fight. Tactical dab taking out taco burrito. They are watching the cafe to see. And they get taken out from behind. Bob Waffle comes in, firing from behind, taking out quick draw. Tack taking out chippy chip. But we have... Looks like, I think that's Joe Magic. And I think Randall on point. They're tucked together in there. They're holding hands right now on point. One in the smoke. One underneath the stairs. There's speed Happy. Now Randall's moved up to the pillar. There's a contest. Taco Burrito going over to the taco bus. Taco Burrito coming around the back. Rabbit taking out Randall. Joe taking out Rabbit. Taco taking out Tack. Joe taking out Taco Burrito. And now they're back to capping the point. And quick draw taking out jugs. Tags everywhere. Forget taco truck. This is tag heaven. Now we got, it looks like Chippy Chip coming on point. Joe's going to come around and try and find him. Joe, oh, there it is. A little ring around the rosy. But Joe's got two people now. Bob Waffle taking out Joe. I think Joe with a nade right in Chippy Chip's face. And quick draw taking out Bob Waffle now. I think when Joe made that power slide and he saw the secondary person there, I think he, he gave the, ah, oh, crap. And now this point is done. It is neutralized. It is over. 72-33. Taco Burrito taking out Defender. Where are we going to everybody? Into station. Let's get inside the station and see where it's at. Let's look at some people and see where the, what they're up to. Here's Joe. He is making his way underneath the station. Joe firing. Taking out Bob Waffle over at Taxi. He's coming in through the front side. He wants to collect some points. Get some tags. Now he's coming in firing. Jiu-Jitsu Rabbit taking out Quick Draw. Joe looking for where they're at. He is firing. Sees him on the other side of the pillar. Burrito taking out Defender. Joe reloading. Now he's on the hunt. Joe taking out Taco Burrito. Now he's going to get low. Randall taking out Jugs. 
Only two people standing. Oh no, another drop. Chippy Chip dropped again. This happened to us yesterday in our match. One of our players kept dropping every few seconds. Had a hard time coming in. Joe on point. Quick draw there. Taken out. He got taken out by, by Jiu Jitsu Rabbit. Let's see who is alive here. Now they're coming in. There's Bob Waffle coming to the front door. He's going to have two SKMS, SKS members. Bob Waffle taking out Tactical Dab. He's got one more. Doesn't see him in the smoke. Joe doesn't see him. They're on the opposite sides. And he gets taken out. Joe coming around and taking out Bob Waffle. Rabbit taking out Joe. Defender taking out Rabbit. Taco Burrito taking out Defender. I think Taco is the only one standing here on point. Yep, Taco only one on point. Taco Burrito going underneath the escalators. 67-32. Now we have Taco on point. We have Randall coming around, trying to find where the taco is. Taco jumping around, taking out quick draw. Randall taking out Taco Burrito. And now he's neutralizing, but there's that nade. Got to get out of the way. Just missing him on that nade. Now Randall is on point. What Told everybody this is going to be a matchup. This is a crazy one right now. It is a two-on-one. Joe taking out Jiu-Jitsu Rabbit. Joe's can't see. They're in the smoke. There's three SKS members. They can't see him in the smoke. Finally, they see Bob Waffle. And the Fender takes out Bob Waffle. Joe takes out Bob Waffle. And Randall taking out Chippy Chip. Bob Waffle was hiding out in the smoke. Moving in and out of that smoke. Burrito needing herself. It's at 58 now. They're watching the catwalk. Randall firing into the catwalk. 67-28. SKS needs a full cap on this one. Let's get a refresh the scoreboard. Chippy Chip is back again. Jujitsu Rabbit leading the team there. 28. You have Defender leading the squad at 20. Joe Magic at 19. That's actually a big kill count for a person on point capping. Now we have... They're watching the doorway. There's three heavy on the door here. Jugs taking out Tack. Randall taking out Taco. Jugs taking out Quick Draw. Jugs taking out Randall. Joe taking out Jugs. Joe taking out Waffle. Rabbit taking out Joe. What is going on? Now Rabbit is on. He's getting the neutralization. They're going to turn and burn this point. They're letting Rabbit get the, the neutralization. He's going to stop here at 12. Someone might come in and try and kill him or wipe him out for that one. But that was a great neutralization by Jujitsu Rabbit. Where are we going to? Let's see where people are running to. There's Quick Draw. He is going in the office. And Rabbit is there waiting for him. Punching his time card. They're going over to Black Car. They don't see each other. Oh my lord. They're one behind each other. Rabbit taking out Randall. Taco taking out Defender. Chippy taking out Joe Magic. Now only two people alive for SKS. At Forge, Fire, everybody alive. Are they all getting on point? We've got a triple point right now. Now we're going to have the four on point.